seven for him at the 600 and they're ready to go green light race six set now they're racing. Yachi Bale's slow to get going. Away very quickly, Lure of Kilkenny. Pounces to the early lead by a length and a half. Dottie's gift over to second. Up to third, the outside American Queen. And she was then down. A bad fall at the second corner. So down the back and Lure of Kilkenny left a big lead. A seven or eight to Yachi Bale who gets into his work. They're followed by Apache Shout looping the field. Make no promise rails. Between them, Fab's Vegetable. And at the end, Jai's Jet off the back. The leader, still an almighty leader, Lure of Kilkenny. Yachi Bales five lengths away. It's Little of Lure of Kilkenny clear. Getting a little leg weary, but gets the job done. Lure of Kilkenny all of the way by two Yachi Bale. Third Apache shout, then Fab's Vegetable. And they were cleared to make no promise. Dottie's gift, Jai's jet. And American Queen took a decent fall, but looks okay. Completes the course, which is good news. And the run around 34.58 for Lure of Kilkenny. Number one, the Red First, order of Fernando Bale and Naughty Kazza, the Hunter Racing Syndicate for Lynn Smith, was able to get left a big, big leader, turning off the back, has sprinted probably seven or eight lengths clear down the back. It was a solo trial. From that point on, Yachi Bales cut the margin back dramatically, but he was just too far away. And number two in for third, Apache Shout, one of the closers from the back of the field, ahead of the yellow Fab's Vegetable, who was a bit unlucky at that first corner. Almost went through to lead, met trouble, and after that has wound up into fourth placing. So interim, 1725, 34, 56 the run.